Hey, Brad Ward here. Time for a tactical video. Uh, December 7th, we have our firearms auction, Bud Haynes Auctions and Ward's Auctions, Edmonton, Alberta. It is a really clean sale. We put a little less lots in this time, 723, I think, because there's so much cream. Uh, it, we, we just slow us down a little bit. Let's let's chill. Let's enjoy this sale because I think we have a hundred and seventy some transferable pieces in the sale. So restricted and prohibs, mostly restricted, uh, all very clean. There's very very little schmutz in the sale. There's uh, about a gajillion high standards from one from one estate. Uh, the same guy had the STIs, including this one here, the Steelmaster, uh, plus the Trojan. Is that, is that what I have right here? Look, that was for protection. STI. Uh, this firearm, of course, is in the sale. This vest is in the sale. But look at how clean some of this stuff is. Uh, like brand new. If it has any miles on it at all, it is just, just little old lady shooting a few stop signs on our way to church on a Sunday. Uh, take a look at this one here. This is not from the same collection, but that shadow is an Ipswich specific shadow, a uh, collector's item, if you will. So is the 1911 beside it, the Alberta Jubilee. There's only a limited number of those, and I believe it's 300. Um, it's actually 200, it's limited to 200. That's 101 out of 200. There is some prohibs in the sale, Obviously, you're not going to have that many transferable pieces without prohibs. So there is some prohibs, but there's some nice clean stuff. Uh, the, you know, nice revolvers. I'm a revolver guy. I'm a Smith & Wesson guy. There's an awesome Colt Python in the sale, restricted. I don't have my fingers on it right now. There's no sense in me trying to show you everything in the sale because there's just too much of it. The whole wall back wall filled with stuff. Um, you know, this one here with the, the snake skin camo on it. How awesome is that? That's a SIG. 10 millimeter. Lots of high standards, like I said. Take a look through the cabinet there. Hey, take a look online, wardsauctions.com. You can see the image gallery. Obviously, online bidding has already started. We're, we're just finishing cataloging this morning at the time we're shooting this video. So we set everything up, make sure everything exists. We you know, delete stuff that we made mistakes on in the catalog and so on. And then we put it all away. While we had it out, we answered some questions. People emailed questions. Oh, is this... Uh, you know, is it missing this or is there that? And we, we do answer as many of those questions as we can because during the initial cataloging, we do make mistakes. Another thing that we have in the catalog, perfect example, little note on here, replace battery. We have a whole bunch of pieces, not a whole bunch, but the, you know, pieces that have a, an electronic optic and it's not working right now. You know, probably been sitting in somebody's safe for three years and never got a replacement battery. So we're going to take a little bit of time now that we got the sale catalog. We'll get to keep some of these pieces out, but the laser's working, and that's important. Um, so we're going to get a, a plethora of batteries, replace these things. So you can look on the online catalog. The printed catalog has just gone off to print now, 15 minutes ago. So that'll be the same. But the online catalog will be able to update with any changes if we get some optics working that are currently not working and most of it let's face it these things the battery they're pretty bulletproof no pun intended but the battery goes dead and then uh, of course it doesn't work so you know another one's right here literally lot number one replace battery and test it says on there so we're going to do a bunch of that uh, watch for your catalog but look at how clean everything is i mean it's just it's just ridiculously clean i've never seen a sale like th that has that much stuff and is that clean this is a really special piece this is a belgian piece call it a wall or a tower gun and it's absolutely i mean look at the condition in it of it and uh, and it, I, i'm led to believe and i believe it that you're going to find maybe a half a dozen of these in all of North America. And I don't think you're going to find them uh, as a rule, hopefully I won't knock this over, um, in this kind of condition. Look at the way it, that essentially becomes the lock. And then you have this big, big breech block that comes out that you can load. And you can see how beefy that is. And then finger holes. So you could have 10 of those and a crew of people loading them goes in place locks in place now that can't blast backwards and, and hurt anybody uh, long range sighting system on it percussion cap goes on the nipple there and away you go so you could have 10 or 12 or however many of those blocks sitting here and a team of people loading for you you've got this on this plinth uh, 
full 360, you could go around. I mean, that's not likely to be a 360, but you could have it on a wall because you'd never hold this. You're never going to shoulder that. And then, so you have all these people loading these for you. Click, 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 and away you go. And of course, these are long range piece, big piece, lots of power. So it's for, uh, you know, armor penetration of the day kind of a deal. So there's that in the sale, very special piece. I'm not going to talk about a bunch of stuff, obviously. Online bidding is already happening. Go to our website, wardsauctions.com. The viewing is on Friday the 6th. This is December 6th, 2019 we're at. Almost the, uh, another year gone by. And uh, uh, from four, 3 o'clock until 8 o'clock, you come view. That's, that's the time to come. If you're local, come, pick the piece up, kick the tires. Please don't dry fire. But you're going to see some beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, and then the sale is 10 o'clock on the 7th in the morning. We'll open at 9 and of course all your online people you have to bid according to what you're seeing in the images we do our best to describe them we don't talk about bores I get a million emails saying what's the bore what's the bore if I had any interest in talking about the bore it would have been in the original catalog so we can't talk about bores possibly through the next calendar year you're gonna see us uh, find a nice easy convenient fast way to take photographs of bores and then you'll see that online then you can make your decision based on that However, there is something that I did do this sale that you will see come up time and time again. And it's a, a verbiage, and I probably on a piece like this, I might have said it. I don't know for sure. Lot number 55. And as I'm cataloging it, and I'm describing it out to the typist, and then I'll say something like, appears gently used with only minor handling and storage marks, or words to that effect. That's me saying, you know what, guys? It's pretty freaking nice. Like, I don't think it's had much use. This has been sitting on the bench and, and, and pretending to go shooting or somebody hardly used it or whatever the case may be. I forget what verbiage exactly, but that was the intent of it. So it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean any more than it's my, my earnest opinion that it's a very clean piece. If it says well used, well, it freaking means well used. Anyhow, I don't think there's a whole lot because there's just too much. There's no sense talking about every piece in here. There's too much, and it's too clean, and it's too nice. So just come to the viewing, uh, come to the sale. If you're bidding online, you know, we do a good job with the pictures. You should be able to see what you got going on there. It's going to be a great day. So I hope you're local, and I hope you're coming to the sale. Um, there's a bunch of miscellaneous. We're not even going to show you. Um, maybe we'll get that under B-roll for you. But I'm not going to take you out there. Let's keep this video nice and short. I just want you guys to come to the sale. You can still email some questions if you have specifics. We're going to put everything away now as soon as we st stop filming this. But come Friday, for those that are not coming to the sale, when we set it all up again, we will be able to answer a few more questions about uh, certain specific items. Again, don't, don't email about the bore. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Brad Ward, Ward's Auctions.